Hello, and welcome to another educational video about heat transfers by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a special video because I just wanted to share with you how I make some of the shirts, you know, novelty shirts for myself when I want to do uh, something that you can't buy or you can't find anywhere. It's special to me. Um, I will do a digital inkjet heat transfer and in no way am I recommending bootlegging. Remember that when you use somebody else's artwork, a commercial piece of artwork that's most definitely copyrighted, um, it's one thing if you make a shirt for yourself, but it's an entirely different situation when you start producing volumes and selling them to other people. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't, I'm not recommending using digital heat transfers to bootleg, they're for novelty uh, purposes. And that's another point uh, that I want to point out is that I do not use digital heat transfers, laser transfers or inkjet transfers to produce any of my products in the screen printing shop here that I sell to my customers. Uh, there is one vinyl heat transfer process that I use to do athletics for names and numbers, but um, I do not use digital heat transfers at all commercially, so I don't really know which one to recommend to you all because a lot of you ask me which one's the best one to use, and I really don't know. Uh, that's something that you have to research and try out with the, with the shirts that you're making and wash them and, and test it and feel comfortable with it if you're going to sell it commercially. Because I don't do that. I don't sell these commercially. These are little designs that I get from uh, the, um, these are poster art. This is poster art from, you know, the 50s, late 50s, early 60s through the 60s, B-rate sci-fi movies and, and thriller movies and, um, there's some A-rate movie art too, like Boris Karloff stuff that I have. and uh, It's just really, really cool poster art that you don't see being made anymore for, for sci-fi or fantasy movies, thrillers, you know, stuff like that. And I really like them a lot. So um, here's a pretty cool one. Okay, so uh, what we need to do, and, and another reason why I choose these is because they're square. So I want to trim these and I'm going to trim them pretty close to the square edges so that you won't see any of the polymer adhesive on the shirt because this is a standard inkjet heat transfer and it's not self-weeding. So the only way you can get with, away with white is when, when it's, when it's um, encapsulated or entrapped inside the artwork. Like the text on this one is white, but because it's inside all this, it looks fine. You'll never notice that it has the polymer adhesive down on it. Okay, so it's pretty cool. So let me switch the camera up, and we're gonna use the paper, the paper trimmer I have here, to trim the edges, and then we'll uh, get to heat press and some t-shirts. All right. So what we have to do is we have to trim these so that there's really no no polymer edge and my paper cutters actually gave me a little problem there so I'll have to fix that. My paper cutter is a little old so I actually have to push the blade uh, a little bit that way <laughs> to make it work right. Okay so we're going to trim, and it's having a little issue today cutting these things. Okay, I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay, so that's the gist of it. You have to, you have to cut the white away. See, so I'm going to cut the rest of these really quick and, uh, and then we're going to move on.
All right, so we have uh, our little setup here, and I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, these are brand new shirts. We want to make sure they're centered and squared and stuff like that. So make sure you get your shirt up there. measure measure out our spacing for each one looks pretty good at a certain point you know it's like I always say you just gotta go and we're gonna do we're gonna do 30 seconds and see what happens. This is a cold peel, so let's see. Let's see what we can do. Now, since it's a cold peel, we have to uh, let it cool off. So the easiest way to do that is to get it off of the pallet. and you're gonna let it cool. Okay, so let me let that cool and then we'll peel it. Okay, so now it cooled down for two minutes and now we gotta get a bite on it there and peel it off. These are peeling off a lot easier than some of the other cold peels I've used, so that's pretty cool. All right, and that's it. All right, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna press the rest of them real fast and you guys can watch as I go along. All right, so there you have it. A uh, quick, casual heat transfer video. Just wanted to share with you my little process, my little method of uh, making these shirts for myself. Okay, and um, they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. You know, one of the cool things, you know, heat transfers are really fun to do because there, there's two things. One is that they're very quick, they're very instant. Okay, and they're also uh, unique. In other words, you can make a shirt, one shirt, and you know nobody else in the world will have it if you if you choose your artwork properly. 
Okay? So that's it. And remember that these are uh, inkjet, standard inkjet heat transfers. So you will need to uh, pre-wash these in the washer, uh, not only to kind of soften the feel, but it will also take out some of the extra ink so it doesn't bleed. Like right now, if you were to wear this somewhere and you dribbled some soda on it or something, <laughs> it would actually run. The, the design would bleed and run and it would be ruined. So you have to wash these before you wear them. So that's what I'm off to do now, right now. I'm gonna throw these in the washer and get them ready to uh, start wearing, all right? Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. And uh, if you like what you see, don't forget, comment below, rate thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.